So let us generalize the one more trigonometric formula, equations formula. So that means already we have generalized the formula for sin theta is equal to k, cos theta is equal to k, tan theta is equal to k. So let us concentrate. So how to find out, how to generalize tan square theta is equal to k or cos square theta is equal to k or sin square theta is equal to k. So let us have a discussion. Or for example, sin square theta is equal to sin square alpha, cos square theta is equal to cos square alpha, tan square theta is equal to tan square alpha, where alpha is the principal value. And one more doubt also we may get it in our mind. Suppose here we have the, for example, the given trigonometric equation is in terms of cot alpha or cosec alpha and sec alpha. Do we have any general formula for them? Yes, we need not. Why? So, whenever the cot function is there, the cotangent function is there, we have to change into tangent function. Because already we have discussed the general formula for tan theta is equal to k. Am I right? So, in the similar manner, if the trigonometric equation is given in terms of cosecant alpha, so better change into in terms of sin theta. Suppose the trigonometric equation is in the form of sec theta, so better to change in terms of cosine theta. That means you need not worry about other co-functions, just concentrate on the three major functions that is sine function and cosine function and tangent function. So now, so let us proceed for another generalizations. So now consider sin square theta is equal to sin square alpha. This alpha is principal value only. Here also just confined to alpha is PV, principal value. So now here bring sin square alpha this side otherwise you can do like this also multiply 2 on both sides. So we get 2 sin square theta equal to 2 sin square alpha. We have formula for 2 sin square theta from multiples and sub multiple chapters. See we have 2 sin square theta equals to 1 minus cos 2 theta. So, with the help of this formula, the 2 sin square theta can be written as 1 minus cos 2 theta. The 2 sin square alpha can be written as 1 minus cos 2 alpha. What will happen? 1 1 gets cancelled and here we have can I write directly cos 2 theta is equal to cos 2 alpha, right, cos 2 theta is equal to cos 2 alpha. We know the solution now here, easily we can find out. As cos 2 theta is equal to cos 2 alpha, cos theta is equal to k, we have already discussed the theta is equal to n pi plus r minus alpha. So that means here 2 alpha is the principal value. So in this, for this equation, so we can write general solution is, 2 theta is equal to n pi plus r minus 2 alpha. Divide throughout by 2, what do you get? Theta is equal to n pi plus r minus alpha. Here, where n belongs to z. Have you followed? So, in the similar manner, now we can find out cos square theta is equal to cos alpha. So, let us discuss. That is consider cos square theta is equal to cos square alpha, where alpha is the principal value. We know the formula from multiple and sub multiple angle chapter from trigonometry. See, 2 cos square theta equals to 1 plus cos 2 theta. So, in order to 
write 1 plus cos 2 theta, it had better to multiply the cos square theta is equal to cos square alpha with 2 throughout 2. So, that means this can be written 2 cos square theta equals to 2 cos square alpha. So, that this 2 cos square theta can be replaced by 1 plus cos 2 theta equals to 2 cos square alpha equals to 1 plus cos 2 alpha. The 1 1 gets cancelled. We have cos 2 theta equals to cos 2 alpha. Now, let us write general solution. Here G s is 2 theta equals to 2 n pi plus r minus 2 alpha divide throughout by 2. So, we get theta equals to n pi plus r minus alpha where n belongs to z. So, now let us move to the next one. So, consider tan square theta is equal to tan square alpha. Tan square theta is equal to tan square alpha. So, this we can write sin square theta by cos square theta equals to this we can write sin square alpha by so, okay, sin square alpha by cos square alpha. So, otherwise you can do in another way also. So, now this can be written tan square theta by 1 is equal to tan square alpha by 1. Now, apply inverse tendo. This is 1 by tan square theta equal to 1 by tan square alpha. Apply componendo and dividendo. That is called apply CD rule. Componendo, dividendo rule. So, this can be written. 1 plus tan square theta by 1 minus tan square theta equals to 1 plus tan square alpha by 1 minus tan square alpha. Again apply invert tendo. So, then this can be written 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta equals to 1 minus tan square alpha by 1 plus tan square alpha. Could you remember this formula? Yes, 1 minus tan square alpha by 1 plus tan square theta is nothing but that is the cos 2 theta. The value of cot 2 theta in terms of tan theta is this one only. So, we can write cos 2 theta equals to cos 2 alpha. It is same just like this one only. So, now we get the general solution is 2 theta is equal to 2 n pi plus r minus 2 alpha. So, theta is equal to n pi plus r minus alpha. Now, what do you conclude? So, how do we summarize all these things? If sin theta is equal to sin alpha, theta is equal to n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n alpha, cos theta is equal to cos alpha, theta is equal to n pi plus r minus alpha, tan theta is equal to tan alpha, theta is equal to n pi plus alpha. But whereas sin square theta is equal to sin square alpha, cos square theta is equal to cos square alpha, 
tan square theta is equal to tan square alpha we have only only general solution that is theta is equal to n pi plus r minus alpha so in this way we can summarize the all the generalizations or we mean to say that all the formulae of trigonometric equations it is stretch so you might have understood all these generalizations these generalize better actually you are going to solve any problem so better first generalize yourself all the formulae after that go on for go for the solving the problems that will be the good strategy of the solving the problem so i hope you might have followed well so otherwise if you have any doubt regarding while solving these problems you can go through our playlist in sakal vidya youtube channel so regarding to trigonometry or some other chapters also so you can refer